بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا حبيب إله رب العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعليه تيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المزلومين سيما أمير المؤمنين علي بن أبي طالب عليه السلام وسيما بقية الله العظيم بقية الله خير لكم إن كنتم مؤمنين ولعنة الدائم على أعداه مجمعين من ألان إلى قيام يوم الدين اما بعد قال امير المؤمنين علي بن ابي طالب عليه السلام اوصيك بالتقوى الله واقام الصلاه لوقتها وايتاء الزكاه عند محلها واوصيك بمغفره الذنب وكاظم الغيث وصله الرحم والحلم عند الجاهل السلام عليكم and welcome to the fragrance of the month of ramadan a series of program uh, dedicated towards the different types of uh, fragrances that we find in this month and the basis of uh, these fragrances uh, is the uh, wasiyat of Amirul Mu'minin and we are looking at that after discussing the understanding of the month of Ramadan what really what is mirath of som what is the heritage of fasting from the hadith and miraj of the Prophet uh, now we are looking at you know uh, the wasiyat of Amir al because it was the days of the Shahadat and we will be focusing upon this till the day of Eid as we said earlier that we will perhaps look at the uh, aspect of the Quran in a more detail compared to the other parts however we have done pretty pretty decent sort of uh, you know uh, explanation of every point uh, where Hazrat Amir have mentioned. Now, we talked about Silatul Raham. We talked about Silatul Raham last time, uh, connecting with the kin and how important it is. And we have to do our share, our responsibility, leave it rest to, to Allah. And from our side, we have to try our level best. Uh, there are there are many examples in history of Silatul Raham by the Masumin alayhi salam where they even went to the extent of uh, not meeting their uh, their companions because their companions have not treated their relatives in a decent way and in order that this message be be uh, be uh, forwarded or uh, be relayed uh, the imam uh, did not allow one of his companion to see him until his relative who was a sayyid who was living in qom uh, be happy or be satisfied with the behavior of his companion uh, it's, uh, I'll give you the. I'll give you very briefly. I have mentioned this earlier. This story, that there was a person who used to drink alcohol, and he was an open drinker, and he goes to the uh, house of one of the companions of the imam, and the companion rejected him f- from giving money, uh, because under the pretext, the reason behind was that. He says, if I give him money, he will go and drink. And uh, later on, he comes to see the Imam uh, as he was going for a Hajj uh, to get the blessing, knocks the door, the slave opens the door, and he asks an entry. Slave goes to the Imam. Imam rejects him to accept. The companion gets up kind of like, worried and why Imam is not accepting and allowing me to see him the Imam sends the message my family member who was a Sayyid who came to your house asked for something you did not give and his heart was broken he was upset he was disappointed and he left and the logic behind the companion would be obviously which I mentioned so Imam relays the message, says that go to his house, seek an apology, make him please, make him agree with you, 
and then come back to me, then I will allow you. It is a pure action of connecting to the kin. Imam is connecting himself to his family member who is corrupt, who drinks openly, but at the same time, as he's the family member, Imam respects his, his sort of heart, you know, doesn't want him to be hurt. Imam cares for him because he's a, he's a family member, he's a relative. I mean, in the sense that obviously Imam cares for everybody, but in this particular uh, hadith, it says that he was a Sayyid. And Imam is trying to manifest, Imam is trying to teach what Sile Rahm really means here. So Imam has not cut his connection. A companion who is a scholar, a companion who is the representative of the Imam, who is the wakil of the Imam, <coughs> Imam is avoiding him, Imam is rejecting him and teaching him that I am connected to him, I am connecting to him, I am doing Sile Rahm. This companion goes to his house, knocks the door, he comes to the, attends to him and he says, forgive me. Your family member who is the Imam, he is not allowing me because your heart is broken. He was shocked and well taken, Imam connects to him and obviously when Imam connects, miracle happen. When Imam connects, destiny changes, future changes from Dozak, from hell, that person comes to heaven from a person being imprisoned in his desire under the commands of the seniors becomes free from being in prison becomes hor from jahannam comes towards jannah hazat hor how did it happen imam connects he connects to the imam Imam does that initial call, Hal min Nasir, and he connects to the Imam. When he connects, destiny changes. This is the very jumla, the sentence that we recite in the Ziyarat al Rajabiye. In the month of Rajab, we recite the month of Vilayat, the month which reminds us of the importance of vilayat, of imamat. In that ziyarat we recite that, O Imam, alaykum bit-tafweez, the change, taweez, the change is from you. You are the one who changes. The destiny changes. An open drinker, community rejecting him, community running away from him. Good people are not providing him aid and assistance, not helping him because he drinks. He is alcoholic. If you give him something, he drinks. The Imam says, go and seek forgiveness. Apologize to him. You broke his heart. He came to your house. I'm not going to see you unless you apologize, unless you make him happy. The companion goes, knocks the door, the man comes, he says, I'm sorry, you know, what is this? Why? What happened? You came to my house, you asked for money, I rejected you, your heart was broken. I went to the Imam, who is relative to you, he says, I'm not going to see you because you broke my relative's heart. You broke my relative's heart. Go and seek an apology. That's why I'm here. Really? He cares for me? Even after knowing who I am and what I am, what I do, 
even after that he cares for me, him being an imam, all of these things what I'm doing for example is haram, but he still cares for him, me. He still have a place in his heart for me. Do you know what he does? He goes inside, he breaks all the bottles of wine and alcohol, whatever he has. And then he goes to the haram of Hazrat Masuma. And in the masjid there, he becomes motakif. He performs etikaf. And he was in the masjid, fasting, praying, seeking forgiveness, doing etikaf. And he died a motakif. While he was in the masjid, he died. When a person connects to the imam, taqdeer changes, destiny changes from Jahannam to Jannah. Abu Hamdai Thumali, the dua that we recite in the month of Ramadan, dua Abu Hamda. Who was he? Rahzan. You can Rahzan Bud. He was a Rahzan, he was like a thief. He used to rob caravans. What happened? Robbing a caravan, being a robber, being a thief in the books of Rijal. In the books of Rijal, it's recited that, it's written that he's known to be the Salman Zamane. He was known as the Salman of the time companion of the fourth imam who have seen the fifth imam and I believe he also attended to the sixth imam as well. From Rahzan, from being a robber, from being a thief, hell to heaven. Salman of the time. When a person connects to the imam, to the vilayat, destiny changes. The whole destiny changes. That's what is required. These are the nights. These are the nights of the month of Ramadan. These are the days of the month of Ramadan. It is required that we connect to this wilayat. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. When we are saying it is revealed on the night of Qadr, where does it reveal? Why do we connect to Imam al Hujjah? Imam al hujjah on the nights, because he's the one who signs it. He's the one who stamps our destiny. He's the one who does that. That's why we connect to the Imam. Muqaddarat awaz mi shavad. Taqdirat awaz mi shavad. It changes. You know, Mawlana Rumi huh, has a share. As muhabbat. Nar nuri mishavat. As mohabbat. Khar gul mishavat. As mohabbat. Div huri mishavat. Because of love, fire becomes light. Because of love, thorn becomes flower. Because of love, devil becomes a uh, huri, you know, a beautiful sort of personality, woman or whatever, right? Why? Because of muhabbat. It changes. I would say, as wilayat, as wilayat, it is from wilayat. Insan, insan mishawat. You know, we call ourselves a human, you know, we become a true human being. You know, as wilayat, haywan, insan mishawat. From wilayat, because of wilayat, a haywan, an animal, becomes a human being. It changes. As wilayat dozak jahannam, as wilayat jahannam dozak jannat mishavat, behisht mishavat, by wilayat. Right? So, sila raham, we were talking about. Imam cared for him. Imam provided that sila raham. Another story of Sile Raham, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam. Imam Sadiq making wasiyat, making wasiyat that part of the heritage from his 
heritage, part that he is leaving behind, matharak, be given to fulan, to person X. I'm sorry, I don't remember that person's name. You know, must be given from his money to person X. Who is this person X? The one who conspired in the murder, in the shahadat of the Imam himself. When he designated X amount of money, X amount of things for that person X, the other family member said, Ya, ya Abu Abdullah, O oh, Imam, he is the one because of whom you are in bed today, because of whom you are, you are trembling and you are in pain today, the poison that is affecting him. It is because of him he has conspired against you. He has hands. His hands are in blood of yours. But at the same time, you are leaving behind things for him. You know what Imam replied? Imam recited the verse from Surah Raad. And that verse was, God connects the relatives, the family members. It is God who makes the family come together. It is not you and I, it's God who connects. Then the Imam recited that verse in the beginning of Surah Raad, and then after that he said, Who am I to cut what God have joined me? God have joined me to him. Maybe he was a murderer, maybe he was an alcoholic, but God joined me. Who am I to cut that? Who am I to cut that? So it is quite important, brothers and sisters, that Silera connecting to the kin, to the family members. Now let's go on because we don't have time, you know. It says, well, Hilm in the in the jahil. Hilm is that sort of bordbari, as they say, that humility that humbleness, that control you know, in front of a person who is jahil, an ignorant person. A person comes, bad mouths the mother in front of the imam. Imam says, jahile, he's jahil, it's okay, he doesn't know. You know who am I? He says, okay, if you say like that, if she was, may Allah forgive. You know, uh, if she was not, you know, may Allah forgive you. Man goes, completely jahil. If you have that quality of helm, the quality of helm is controlling. You know, one controls that. You know, if one have that quality of helm, buzurgi, you know, as they say, samaratul ilm helm. The fruit of knowledge is helm, is humility. When a person becomes more and more knowledgeable, he becomes more humble. He becomes more, you know, humble. Hel, tawado, hel. Have you ever seen that a tree with loads of fruits, it kind of humbles itself. It kind of bends down, right? So, the f knowledge if it comes, it makes you humble. It makes you say, Ya Ahmad, Hadith Miraj, Ya Ahmad, O oh Ahmad, do you know, Hal Mirath of Som, Mirath of Som, what is the Mirath of Som? We did this Hadith earlier. Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam says, La, Qal, La, I don't know. Avvaleen Hastiya Alam, Payambari Akram, right? He is the first man of the world, of insaniyat, of humanity. When Allah says, do you know? I, say, I don't know, you know. But if it was me, when somebody asks, do you know? I say, yes, I know. I know this, I know that, I know this. Huh? That's how I will behave, right? Helm, you know, that humbleness. The more a person becomes knowledgeable, the more humble he becomes. I wonder, have you ever read the 
uh, Adab al Salat of Imam Khomeini. If you look at the writing, you could see the sincerity and you could see the humbleness that how he writes, his pen. You know, perhaps it seems like, not like, it is like that, but is it perhaps, maybe, it seems that way. Uh, that's how he addresses, very academic. Uh, humbleness, humility, not stubborn. Oh, this is what it is, right? Adab of Salat of Imam. And then, at deen Imam is doing wasiyat that, you know, you should have the understanding of deen. Marifat, knowledge, seek knowledge of deen. Many of our problems that we have is because our knowledge in our deen is little. We are ignorant of our religion. It's quite important, brothers and sisters, even those who are religious, they don't have knowledge of religion. They think they are marja. They think they are faqi. They think only they know. Uh, helm kuj raft dike. Helm is gone. Helm is no longer there. You know, as window raft. As they say that, faqr as darmi ayat, uh, iman as panjare mi ravat, is hadith. Meaning that when faqr, when poverty comes by door, iman goes out the window. Now, for some people, when ilm comes from the door, helm goes out the window. Huh? <laughs> Humbleness goes out the window, unfortunately. That is not ilm, right? Tafako, profound understanding. Fiqh means profound understanding. Tafako is to acquire, is to struggle, as the ayah in Surah Tawbah clearly points out to that why not um, one amongst you go and do tafaqqaf al-deen acquire knowledge now here at tafaqqaf al-deen is particularly when it's saying tafaqqaf al-deen is in relation to the jurisprudential aspects is ahkam here is ahkam here you know it's you know one i would be I would be, how shall I say, uh, certain enough, enough at tafakko. Tafakko is in general, you know, have an understanding of deen in general, falsafa, you know, philosophy, qaid, and, you know, ideology, and tafsir, and all of that. But here at tafakko, you know, the first category of tafakko fid deen would be particularly to ahkam, to the law, right? Now, Sometimes, unfortunately, even this becomes a hurdle. This becomes a hurdle. A person becomes very sort of rigid and says, oh, this is what it is. It's halal and that's it. It's haram and that's it. No, no. Tafakko requires that research, that in-depth research and understanding, right? Then when a person have that, Look how much his heart expands. How much he becomes caring. How much he becomes all-inclusive. Our fuqaha, a person who does tafakko in deen, is known as a faqi. Our fuqaha, fuqaha means plural. Our fuqaha, our maraje, our fuqaha, they are all-inclusive. Look at their hearts. I mean, when you go there, when you sit in front of them, when you speak to them, when you, you know, have a relationship with them, their heart is so huge. It includes the whole world within it. But at the same time, they are faqi. Huh? At the same time, they are faqi, right? See, you know, having knowledge of halal and haram and practicing halal and haram should not make a person dry should not make a person how shall I say I know hard hearted or hard headed kind of you know so it gotta be very you know all inclusive helm 
humbleness. You know, all of these things are very important, brothers and sisters. Little knowledge comes in our mind. That's it. You know, uh, you know, we become like marja kind of. And then after that, he says, "But the thabbut fil amr." having steadfastness in the command, right? And then being steadfast, right? When you have taqwa, when you have salat, when you have zakat, when you have maghfirah, when you have controlling of your anger, drink, then silatul raham, hilm, tafaqqof al deen, and be steadfast. You know, that's how it's going, very, in a very organized way. You know, Nahjul Balagha is this Balagha, this is eloquency of Hazrat Amir Ul Mu'mineen. And then after that, Watahahud Lil Quran Ahad to the Quran, which we'll look at in detail in our next program. We have come to an end of this program. I part uh, leave, I take leave from you. Thank you for watching us. Uh, the fragrance of the month of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all your fast, all your ibadat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you and forgive me and forgive our marhumeen and increase their darajah and raise them all together with Ahl Bayt alayhimu salam. Ghafala Allahu lana wa lakum. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And goodbye from Hidayat.